This is Ekaterina Smirnova. We are painting Winter in Paris in watercolor. I've prepared a watercolor pad with applied masking tape on the perimeter. I have a sketch. There is my palette and the colors are brown matter, ultramarine, neutral tint and optional cerulean blue and rose matter. Pencil and a nice watercolor brush with a pointy end. I'm going to start with a pencil sketch. Following perspective rules, I will mark the position of my trees and will schematically draw to Hefel, the Eiffel Tower. You don't have to make a lot of details, just outlines. Now with regular water, I will only wet the area where my trees will be painted. Once I'm done, I will mix together red matter and ultramarine. I want to have a more red than blue for this purpose. Once you are satisfied with the color, while paper is wet, just simply start tapping on the wet paper in order to create very loose forms of the body of trees. When it is further to the center and therefore further away from the viewer, the atmosphere becomes more blue. That's why I mixed in more ultramarine. The lower part of the tree section I'm painting with the cerulean blue. I'm cleaning my brush and preparing for the next step. I'm going to paint the Eiffel Tower. And for that, I am choosing ultramarine as my favorite color. It is always handy to have a piece of paper on which you would to test your colors. So now, following my pencil sketch, I will simply paint the tower and try and be very careful not to paint over the trees so the colors don't mix. But you can see already it's mixed a little bit. I wouldn't worry about it because I know that I can fix it. So I'm going to speed up my video so you can see the creative process, but of course you will take your time and uh, being careful will paint over the beautiful architectural detail on our painting. I would like to point out that your color should be very light. That means that you need to mix a generous amount of water. Also remember, when the painting is dried, it's going to appear much lighter. I'm using a hairdryer to speed up the process of drying because for the next step you need your paper to be absolutely dry. This is your moment to use an eraser to remove extra pencil lines that are on your way. Once you're done, I am picking a color brown, which I mixed of red matter and ultramarine blue, and will create the trunks of the trees. If the paper would be wet, you would not be able to make the shapes of the trunks because the paint will be spreading around on the wet paper. From simple observations on the street, you would remember that when the tree is closer to you, it will be looking more bright and more massive and larger. When the trees are further in a distance, the trunks will be much slenderer, they will appear to be standing closer to each other and they will be much smaller. In my case, I also make them to appear more bluer as they go further to the horizon. So take your time, no rush, and paint the trees. Also for the right side of my painting, I am intensifying the branches of the trees and making the trunks to look darker a little bit. This maybe is the most complicated step of the process, so no rush. 
I am mixing more color, ultramarine and red matter. Time to paint the tiny trees on the left side. Again, we are following the rules of perspective and I'm making the lines, uh, pencil lines stronger. Starting with the closest tree, it is a different type of tree. It's a, a pine tree, a fir tree. I'm going to create a whole bunch of trees, uh, making them smaller and disappearing further in the distance. I am also outlining the side of the road, which as well helps the perspective. I would like to add more details to the Eiffel Tower. I am using the same color ultramarine and uh, maybe the same opacity as last time or a tiny bit stronger. And very carefully just adding shadows and some decorative details on the tower. Again, we don't have to be very precise and detailed because the tower is in the distance and it is disappearing and when it's further on the horizon all of the details are going to be merging with the atmosphere and a very intricate object can appear as just one solid color i thought that my details were way too dark that's why I will remove the extra paint with a kitchen paper towel. Now look, this couple is um, our main characters, so I will make sure that I do them well. I will practice to paint the silhouetted forms of a man and a woman on the additional paper. I'm picking the darkest color, I'm taking the neutral tint, if you don't have that, you can take black and mix it with the blue, ultramarine blue. Once I'm satisfied with my sketch, I'm moving on to the actual painting. Another detail I would like to add to this work is a series of street lights. Same rules of perspective as we followed with the trees, the closer light is going to be larger and darker and the further in the distance are much smaller. At this step I'm adding also some color for the ground. I'm picking a grayish bluish color and just a light hint. Once again I'm using a hair dryer to dry the paint. Now taking white gouache is an optional part of the painting. I'm just going to squeeze some to my palette. I'm taking a different brush. It is a rough brush made of pig's hair. And since it's starting snowing, the tower needs to be disappearing in a distance. So I'm simply going to paint over it with the mixture of white gouache and water. Now let's create the snow itself. You could also use a toothbrush in order to create this effect and I'm just using my finger and letting the drips of paint be coming down to my painting. This is maybe the most fun part of this creative process. You'll see that once it's dried it is almost invisible. This means that I did not use enough of the white gouache this is much more opaque mixture and again uh, we are going to do the same trick letting it snow all over the place. Have fun with this guys, this is a lot of uh, exciting uh, splashes and drips. Make sure that your table is protected because you can see it goes everywhere. I'm drying the painting once again with a hair dryer. Now it's time to remove our masking tape. It helped me to create a wonderful border. Are you ready for a surprise? I would like to send this postcard to the first person to complete this artwork and share it on the social media 
and tagging my social media name.